Brothers and sisters, and I have been overwhelmed uh, with uh, uh, the joy uh, and the friendship, and brotherliness, and sisterliness uh, that have been showered upon me. I shall be ever grateful to Allah. Knots, chains, filaments, cosmic web, networks, all these words are semantically associated with the Quranic word al hubba Yes, I think uh, the scientific way is the proper way of introducing Islam to the West. Western countries, I'm thinking particularly of my own, the United Kingdom, but uh, this applies uh, also to others, uh, particularly perhaps the United States. Uh, Western countries are basically materialistic. Uh, people have been educated in our schools to think that science knows all the answers. And uh, anything which does not fit the materialistic scientific picture must be wrong. The, um, the current scientific picture, the materialistic scientific picture, in which a human being is no more uh, than a few kilograms of tissues with a little computer at the top, and the universe uh, is no more than all these objects separated around us in physical space. This scientific picture is showing cracks. It is showing cracks in um, the particle physics area, that is the micro area of the universe, uh, and it is showing wide cracks in the macro area, big things uh, in the psychical research field. A good scientist follows the evidence where it may lead. So where does the evidence lead? In the, the particle physics area, uh, electrons sometimes appear as waves, sometimes they appear as particles. Uh, it depends on the experimenter and the experiment. Sometimes particles disappear from one point in space and reappear at another point in space without crossing the space in between. Sometimes in order to make the theories, the scientific theories agree with the results of experiment, time has to run backwards. I feel that those signs probably weren't understood when the Quran was revealed. And that's why a lot of the scholarly work then was on, on the other meanings of the Quran and the interpretation of those, of those meanings. And these verses that we're discovering now were a mystery. In um, the macroscopic area of psychical research, human beings uh, are in touch with one another uh, and with the universe uh, without the normal five senses coming into it. This is called telepathy. Human beings sometimes know about the future without any normal deductive process. This is called precognition. Human beings uh, in full and normal state of health have interesting and unusual states of consciousness uh, in which information about the physical world can be acquired which is not normally available. All these well ascertained scientific facts show that the materialistic uh, basis of science is flawed. That the physical world is not nearly so simple as it appears that time and space are much more complex than we think. Uh, these are showing us clues that uh, there is a great deal more to be discovered. This is breaking up materialism by that rigorous, objective, scientific method which led to materialism in the first place and leading to a more balanced material and spiritual life.
how scientific uh, Islam could be. I was rather surprised, you know, uh, in Western countries we know very little about uh, Islamic religious teachings. The Quran is not very much read and the Hadith are not read. I think that um, the Muslim world uh, does not shine its light as much as some of the other religions do uh, in the West. But I was very surprised uh, to learn quite recently of the scientific statements which are to be found in Quran and Hadith. I was very surprised uh, to find uh, that there are these statements about psychical research matters, uh, which Dr. Yahya uh, has um, quoted. I was also very surprised to hear um, other Western scientists uh, quote uh, statements in the Quran about embryology and about geology and various other uh, medical matters. The stages of embryonic and fetal development mentioned in the Quran should be used when teaching Muslim students because they are in accordance with our modern understanding of the development before birth. It will also enable Muslim doctors and nurses to explain human development to their patients using Quranic references. Some of those facts uh, not having been discovered until the years of the present century, as the Quran and Hadith uh, are some 1400 years old, that surprised me uh, very much and made me wonder uh, what the source could be. Mohammed could not have known these facts about human development in the 7th century because most of them were not discovered until the 20th century. Muslims and others are justified in concluding that these facts could only have been revealed to Muhammad by the one known who knows all about us, not only about how we developed, but how we live and function. I um, would like very much to establish uh, in London an important centre in the West as an Islamic Scientific Research Institute to study science, especially those areas of parapsychology and complementary medicine which are so weakly supported at present uh, in the modern scientific world. I have a duty to tell other scientists uh, what I discover and uh, I have discovered certain remarkable scientific things in Quran and Hadith. So I think it's my duty to tell them that they should read these books because they would find uh, their scientific uh, uh, imagination stimulated, they would find new experiments, uh, possibilities of scientific research uh, would arise uh, in their minds. So we uh, Muslims should shine the lights of Islam on the materialistic scientific world uh, and using those rigorous methods of science which led to that materialism uh, reintegrate uh, our brothers in that world uh, with a little uh, deeper truth about the universe in which they find themselves uh, and uh, about their own natures. Uh, Allah be praised. I uh, called myself um, Abdullah Ellison. <laughs> very very interesting sorry i couldn't comment in the other first half that i did because my camera went off and yeah so the thing about lucid dreaming i really don't know anything so i was very excited to find out he was talking about lucid dreaming but i've heard one or two things but i'm just not i don't have the full information about that for me to comment about but i'm always glad to research after this and the fact that at the end of this video he's Telling people to actually um, read should stand for something. Us reading is what we'll get our knowledge from. So don't sleep on, on yourselves. Just go there, read and find out what...